Welcome back to my channel and for those of you that are new, my name is Marissa, also known as Homemaking with Marissa. Today's video is going to be what I will be putting in each of my three children's Easter baskets this year. I have three sons. I have a kindergarten son that's five, a third grader that's nine, as well as an 18 year old that is a senior in high school. I am thinking that because my senior will be moving out next year that this is the last year I will be doing an Easter basket for him, but that is to be determined. I typically get items that are similar for the two little kids and then something different for my older child. I'm going to start with my 18 year old. This is his Easter basket. Inside we have a lot of snacks. He doesn't want like the little tchotchkes that the little kids want. He primarily just wants consumables. So that's what I get. First, we have a bag of pistachios. These came, all of these items came from Target. So pistachios, he really likes cashews. So I'm going to be adding a bag of cashews and a bag of sunflower seeds. I will also be including two of these packs of little me little mini beef jerky sticks, two of the Mio water enhancers, one in orange vanilla, and then orange tangerine. He really likes Chipotle, so I got him a $25 gift card to Chipotle. We pay for all of his standard living expenses, but he also has a job. So if he wants to go out to eat with friends, that is something that he has to pay for himself. So he really appreciates getting things like gift cards for birthdays, Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day. And then he typically eats pretty healthy. He doesn't He tries to avoid eating a lot of candy. I am only going to be including one piece of candy in this Easter basket this year, and it is this Reese's peanut butter chocolate egg. And that's it. That is all that I'm going to be including in my 18 year old Easter basket. Moving on to the little kids. Truthfully, I have been using the same Easter basket with both of the little kids, I think their entire life, and I cannot find them. Fortunately, I'm filming this on March 1st, so I do have over a month to locate their Easter baskets. But as of today, I looked in the two places that they have been historically, and I didn't find them in either location. So apparently, despite all of my decluttering, <laughs> there's still chaos in the house. Okay, here are the items I'm getting for the little kids. I'm only going to show you one of items that I'm getting them both the same thing. So each of them will be getting these little flip-flops, not flip-flops, what are these? Faux Birkenstocks that came from Target. They've both outgrown their summer shoes from last year. So we'll be freshening those up with a new pair for each boy. These I thought were really fun. These are in the, they used to call it the dollar spot, but most things are like three to five dollars now. This was five dollars, but these were around when I was a kid. So I don't remember what they were called, the brand name. They're calling this a skip ball, but basically you put this around your ankle, this uncoils, and then you jump around the ball, which actually lights up. I don't know if that's really showing up very well on the camera, but I thought that both boys would think that this was really fun. And I also just thought it was kind of cute and nostalgic and something that I used to play with all the time when I was a kid. I think they'll like that. They are each getting pistachios as well. All three of my sons are obsessed with pistachios, but they tend to be kind of expensive. So I typically will buy them for like special occasions or I like to include them in things like Easter baskets or uh, their Valentine's boxes. Next, bath bomb. This was also in the dollar section. It is Peeps. Says it smells like cotton candy and marshmallow. The kids love bath bombs and I think that they'll think that these are fun. 
Oreos, also something very popular at my house, but not something that we buy on a regular basis. So each kid will be getting a small container of these Oreos. I always include something that is chocolatey in each box. So this year I found these lint gold bunnies. We have done, they have these in advent calendars where you get one of these little chocolate, uh, I don't, is it a bunny? It's probably not a bunny for, what is it? Is it a snowman? Santa Claus? I don't know, Lint comes out with some, gold, they're bears, that's what it is. So at Christmas time, they have these little chocolate gold wrapped bears in advent calendars. The kids think that they're really fun. So this year for Easter, we're just doing this little gold milk chocolate bunny. And then the only thing that I did that was different for the kids, I always like to include something that's arts and crafts related. They like to doodle in their bedroom before they go to bed each night and love having different art supplies that they can do as a quiet activity while they're in their beds before they go to sleep. For my five-year-old, we actually are taking him to Monster Jam this weekend and they had this little Monster Jam coloring book with the mess free pen. He had one of these in I think a Disney theme. Yeah, a Disney theme. And he really liked it. So you just color these little pictures using this marker. I think that it fades eventually and then you can do it again. Not 100% sure, but I know that he really likes these little doodle pads with the magic ink. And then this was something I found as I was leaving for my nine-year-old. He is very, very artistic. So he, I think, is really going to like this. This was a New Year's themed coloring book. It's intended for adults. It was kind of expensive, it was $10 for this book, but I really do think that he'll utilize it and enjoy it. You can see it's just a little bit more involved coloring pages that I think that he will really have fun completing this little book in the evening. That, yep, those are the items that I got this year to stick in the kids' Easter baskets. I think that they're all going to really enjoy these. A lot of consumables, so we don't have to worry about excess. We can just eat, they can eat the item and then be done with it. And then toy, shoes, art supplies, things that I really do think that they will use and won't just sit around cluttering up the house. If you would like to see the video that I filmed last year showing what I put into the kids' Easter baskets, go ahead and click on this annotation here. It will take you directly to that video and you will be able to see ideas that I have used in the past of things that I've put in the kids' Easter baskets. I hope you are all doing well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.